Okay, this next part is a very important part, um, both in terms of applications and in everyday life, kind of. So changing between fractions, decimals and percentages. So going each way, going back the way, going between any of them, you need to be able to change from one to the other. Okay, the most important one um, is, well, the most easy to deal with is almost the decimal. If you can get it into the decimal, then you can pretty much go um, and put it into any of the other forms, okay? So once you've got the decimal, it's pretty easy to get to the other forms. You've just got a couple of things to be aware of, okay? So we'll start with this top, top one. So basically what we're trying to do in this table, and you're gonna do a table similar yourselves, is you're basically gonna try and write each part as a fraction, decimal, and percentages. So we're starting with one of each in uh, in this table. So I'm gonna try and take a fifth and write it as a decimal and a percentage, and then same with the other ones, okay? So in terms of a fifth, as a, uh, a fifth is obviously a fraction. In terms of as a decimal, the easiest way to do it is to actually um, Stick it in a calculator if you're allowed to. I'm not sure if you're allowed to in uh, the sheet, but let's imagine that we're not. Okay, so to change it to decimal, basically what a fraction is at the end of the day is it just a division. So one fifth is one divided by five. Okay, and if you can work out what one divided by five is, that will put it into a decimal. Okay, so you can do, literally do a little sum. Okay, how many fives are there in one? And this is where you have to be really careful with uh, carrying and make sure you write it in the right way. Five or five divided by one is obviously just five. That is not what it is as a decimal, okay? So we're doing one divided by five very specifically. The top number divided by the bottom number. So one divided by five. So obviously we can't do five into one. So this brings up the decimal. So it'll be zero point something. Uh, and we have to carry the one onto the next number in the, um, the number that we're dividing into, okay? So we're still dividing the same number. We're just carrying it on each time. So now we've got five into 10. Five into 10 goes twice. Okay, and that's us finished. So the decimal of one fifth is just 0.2. We get it just from doing the division. As I say, if you were allowed to use a calculator, let's, let's assume that we're not, then you just have to do a little sum like this. All right, then changing it to a percentage, basically what you've got to do is you've got to take this number and times it by 100, okay? So 0.2 times by 100 is just 20. And there's lots of other ways of doing that. You can think of this, right, if, if you can write this uh, in terms of, um, two numbers after the decimal point. So this is 0 0.20, isn't it? Okay, and then it's just 20%. That lends us nicely into the next one. If we've got 0 0.9, that's 0 0.90, okay, which is 90%. Okay, so a couple of these you just need to be careful of. But 0 0.90 would be 90%, and now we need to change it back to a fraction. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. You can use, it depends which one you've got. If you've had the percentage, 90%, the idea of a percentage is it's out of 100. So that's 90 out of 100. Okay, but you could think of this, this is 0 0.9, this is 9 tenths, isn't it? It's in the tenths column, okay? And that simplified is 9 tenths. And the idea with a fraction is you want to write it in its simplest form. So 90 over 100 is a fraction, but it's not in its simplest form. 9 over 10 would be its simplest form. So we could have got that 9 over 10 from the fact that this here, the decimal, is 9 tenths. Okay, this is just a tenths column. You've got units column, tenths column, hundredths column. So we have 9 tenths. Or if you had your percentage, it's 90% is 90 out of 100, okay? So however you get there, you should still get the same answer as long as it's simplified as much as possible, okay? But depending on where you start, obviously it becomes a little bit uh, more of a different question. So for this last one, the percentage, we've got 17%, okay? So we'll try and do both of these. 17% is just 17 out of 100, okay? We can't simplify that. So that's it done as much as possible. And then obviously to change it to a decimal, we want to just do the division. And it's 17 divided by 100. And as long as it's something like this, 17 divided by 100, then everything's just moving down a place value, isn't it? So 17 over 100 would be 0 0.17. And that's how we write it as a decimal, okay? So changing between them can be quite uh, different, but um, with the sheet that I've got for you, um, it should be good practice for you, okay? But any questions, let me know.